Hey everyone, and welcome back to the adventures of Doofy Dwarves. But first, I want to say a big thank you to Puriel, who has been here for many years now, and who made this entire dwarven estate that we used for the cinematic prologue in the last episode. It's so amazing. Like, look at how much detail there is here. So I was thinking, since this was submitted on Discord, and we have a fan art channel on Discord, if you guys are interested, throw something up in that fan art channel. It could be anything, a drawing, uh, a random picture of sorts that maybe you took, maybe something like a base like this to help enhance the story of the Dwarven Doofy Diggers. Then we can have a little community something or other to look forward to at the start of every episode. In any event, as is the case with all of these new videos, I am starting my live stream as this video goes live, building a castle, round two. If you guys are interested, link to the Twitch in the description down below. In any event, time for some doofy diggers. Hey everyone, and welcome back to apparently a raid. We have Amit and we have Cinnamon for this raid, and that's literally all we have because Kiyosuke is a bit indisposed with whining like a whiny whiner over here. Uh, once again, it's nighttime, we have fog of war on, we have no idea where this raid is coming from, so my guess is we'll just... Oh god, that's not even good. I, I guess... <laughs> we can barely see in any direction. I guess we'll go here and here and see what happens. Maybe we'll put Ahmed down there. Uh, now, oh, a meteorite. One thing that I want to avoid... Oh, here we go! They're coming, boys! Uh, was that a Freudian? Like, did I see that? They're coming? Or did I just say they're coming and the guy just happens to be coming? Hmm. Amazing. It's another naked female! They have come, they have heard the tales! They're coming to avenge their sisters! Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got. That's a pretty fancy looking axe there. Oh, hello! Yeah, Lovota, yet again. It looks like we have another naked female. This time, apparently, it's the Sisterhood of the Traveling Capes or some such. Okay, this is fantastic. Let's move Cinnamon really close. And... Deservian! Look, boys, apparently the females have like a bagged hooded male slave called Deservian because he serves them, get it? <laughs> oh, boy. All right, uh, never mind. <laughs> Apparently one of them's already down. Um, it's probably gonna have this no problem. We'll have Cinnamon aim over here at Servian. And that's not gonna work out well for us. Let's go hide behind Amit. Never mind. We'll just let this play out because I'm sure we'll have no problem here. Beautiful! Um, if you go over there, Cinnamon, come on down here and let's take down Lovota as well. For whatever reason, they just happen to come in pairs or packs of three and three. Almost uh, less than a day apart from each other. Now, I'm really curious what this thing is. It looks like some kind of dog mask or some such. Slate Stone War Mask. Huh. Never seen that before. Fancy. All right, well... Uh, let's throw them into the corpse pile and call it a day. Let's see what Amit got for wounds. He got one bruise in the torso. More importantly, though, the shield is down to 226 out of 32. That is not going to last much longer at this rate. Let's go see what this meteorite is. A large meteorite has struck ground in the area and left behind a lump of smooth basalt. And we can't even see that, interestingly. Now, I'm wondering, let's bring Cinnamon over here and just take a quick look. I'm assuming that's going to be the... Oh, yeah. Smooth basalt. How did a meteorite drop smooth basalt? Hmm. Who knows? Is this worth something? If I mine it? I, d I doubt it. I think it's just a different color uh, rock or something like that. In any event, today's goals are going to be relatively simplistic. Dig. Uh, dig. Followed by... Dig. In case you guys were wondering if I was going to say something different the third time. Nope. Hmm. Amit and Cinnamon find themselves relaxing socially. Amit joked about playing poker with Cinnamon because one day they aim to have both the table and the stakes to wager to play such a game. Cinnamon chatted about fighting imps with Amit because that's what she heard the treasure hoarders do. 
They fight imps and they take their treasures back to their lairs. And Arbit, or Amit, gabbed about food with cinnamon, which is obvious because cinnamon is indeed sitting here making the food. And wouldn't you know, Kiyosuke, I think in all the campaigns I've ever played, Kiyosuke is the fastest person to recover from unconscious, or, or catatonic, rather. Not only was he the fastest person before, he was the fastest person now. Normally that catatonic lasts for just and it's seemingly forever. But this time, both times Kiyosuke went down, it wasn't a big deal. This is fantastic. This means that Kiyosuke can now cook because he's a much better cook than Cinnamon. And we can have Cinnamon come out and look for some more animals to hunt. Aha! We have struck gold, boys! Golden ore! Woo! It's only seven things, so that's not a huge amount, but gold is very light. We can carry that plus a whole lot more uh, to the nearest base when we're done. Now, one thing I've learned is that if we do find the Gromril, we can basically only mine about seven of it, and our three characters can carry that seven plus their tent, and that's about it to whatever the nearest town is. So this gold will fit in very nicely in addition to everything else they can carry. One thing we're going to need to do, though, is empty up some of this nonsense over here. I'm going to turn this to extremely low priority, clear all, and just put sulfur in here. And this way we can actually store the gold and kind of make a little stockpile of sorts. It appears we have been given a request. The request is for 57 herbal medicine. Now that is definitely a lot. However, in return, they'll give us a steel longsword masterwork. That sounds exceptionally fantastic. It's gonna take us 2.3 days to get there. Let's go take a look and see exactly where it is. So if we were to follow the river to the west, it would be right inside here. Unfortunately, we don't necessarily have 57 herbal meds with us, but we could settle down along the way. We have 15 days to go there. That is definitely going to be one of our destinations. I think our next jump may be down here uh, at these mountainous temperate forests or possibly right over here if we can find some large hills along the road. Or maybe even nearby to the town or closer to the town that will come in there, trade them whatever heal route we find along the road, pick up that masterwork longsword and sell our first bounty. So if it's going to take three days to get there and we want to stop for five days, that's eight days, giving us roughly seven days until we have to leave. We have seven days back over here to prospect and hopefully strike a little bit more ore someplace. <gasps> oh, never mind. <laughs> we are struck! Compacted steel. I got so excited. But no, indeed, it is, is not really relevant to what we're doing. Caravan member from the Defender's Estates is visiting. She is named Guadalupe Abakri. And we have no idea exactly where she is. We'll have Cinnamon go trade with her. I doubt there's anything we can really trade. Maybe we can sell these weapons, though. If we get a bit lucky. There we go. Saw her out in the back there very briefly. Oh, greetings, Guadalupe. Dwarven Ale. Inarguably the finest ale in the world. Higher alcohol content and nutrition than other ales and beers. Although far more delicious despite that. Much sought after the world over. Overuse can lead to alcohol addiction. And this is exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted to see them be capable of buying all these silly steel axes. Now these things aren't really all that great. Our pickaxes, our basic pickaxes are fine. So let's trade them all of these random axes we got from all the naked woman. And we will buy... Logically speaking, it might make sense to buy the herbal meds, but realistically speaking, I really want some dwarven ale. The other thing is, we can actually mine some silver, so we have a little bit of money now that we didn't have before. And the dwarven ale can be used as a melee weapon that does 4.44 damage per second. Well, boys, if you thought the next campaign was going to be drunken dwarfen doofers, my golly gee willikers, that's exactly what it just might be. 
Like restrictions are only using dwarven ale as a weapon. And always, that's like the only food anyone can have. Look at this, actually almost as much food as a simple meal. A simple meal is 0.9. This sounds incredible. Just everyone's drunk all the time. Okay, that's next campaign. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think we'll actually leave that here and just collect the money and sell all this nonsense to get it out of the stockpile. Beautiful. Time to extend our mining orders, I reckon. Kiyosuke, the house servant, has suffered a total mental breakdown for the third time in, like, just about as many days. Kiyosuke just can't seem to keep it together for whatever reason. I can't say that I understand this precisely, other than his mental break threshold's a little bit higher and he must be getting really exceptionally unlucky. That and he got gifted with muscle parasites, but even then... It is very surprising. He's also had heat stroke almost constantly because these tents have no ventilation and it does indeed get pretty hot in there. And it's like the high mid of summer right now. So that may be part of it. Who ever knew a dwarf to not like the warm, warm, warmthness of the internal mine depths under the earth? Or to say that in, in human speech that makes sense, dwarves like to dig into the earth where it's hot. So, Kiyosuki ain't doing the dwarfy thing. <laughs> uh, professional orator. No! Cinnamon's throwing a tantrum, and she can one-shot the tent! I don't know what happens if the tent gets... Like, I've never actually used this mod enough to know. I think you can uninstall the tent? Oh god, Cinnamon, please don't, please don't hit more stuff in the- Please? Ah! Okay. There goes our- Oh god. This is- Okay. We can't make more bedrolls. The fact that we can't make more bedrolls makes this pretty incredibly bad. She observed a rotting corpse. Well, maybe I shouldn't have tossed six naked woman corpses in the river. Oh. My lord, we're about to lose one of our only beds that we can't replace, as well as a cloth w wall that now, well, this is a shared room instead of individual rooms, which is the whole reason I wanted this tent to begin with. I have no place to arrest her to, and I'm not sure if I even want to if I could, although Amit's right here. It's a little too late. Let's go see what happens. Oh my god, now she's broken down a wall. And that's all outdoors. And now she's gonna go, that's fine. She can break all the planes leather she wants. Just please don't break any more of the tent. Please. Yeah, break the fence. That we can replace. I guess we're just gonna have to put regular walls in here. And I don't know what's gonna happen when we un uninstall this tent. Uh, I suppose we'll see. And she broke- Wow! Holy, she's just- br I can't even- Cinnamon- Cinnamon, please! Please! She doesn't want the- I think she's giving us a- Okay. All right, I think we've... Uh, we understand, we understand, Cinnamon. You want a real house to live in next time. Let's just get off this map, find one more ore, and get out of here as soon as Kiyosuke gets out of bed that he's not gonna be able to come home to because he's the only person who can construct walls and you're breaking all the walls. Oh my golly gee, Willa Cutter's Batman. Absolutely insane. Look at this, it's almost 100%. <laughs> well, that's one way to get yourself out of like camping, I suppose. Whew. Oh, I have never seen a tantrum be so destructive before. Absolutely insane. What the heck is happening now? Apparently there's a flash storm that sounded like it was inside of my brain, but it's just relatively nearby here. These corpses are going to take, apparently, weeks to wash away in the river outside, which I had expected them to go much quicker than that, but apparently not. And now we're all basically sleeping outside in the flash storm, and our only constructor can't construct. Amit does have a one, though, so it's possible we could force him to come up here and just bake everything. Nah. <laughs> As I say that, he's like, yeah, nah. I'm mildly uncomfortable, to hell with that. I ain't doing nothing. 
Meanwhile, how many times has he been walking over Kiyosuke? The reason he's probably uncomfortable is because he has to walk over a giant freaking crying Kiyosuke in the hallway. Over and over and over again. By the way, this is clearly mineable sulfur, and we don't want to bother with that. So let's get that out of here. And this thing over here, let's just delete that. If there's a, f if there's any kind of fire near to us... Oh, by the way, look at this legion of sleeping things. <gasps> a group of travelers from the Dwarven Hill Clans are passing by. Well, I don't think they're actually going to come trade with us, but... As it is, Kiyosuke is really, really, really wounded. Cinnamon's recovering from her throwing a fit. She should come down here and, and save Kiyosuke. I'll just manually do it now. What a nightmare this is. <laughs> Cinnamon's now playing horseshoes from inside the tent, over the table, through the hoop in the, in the chair, and then to outside of the tent because this is our life. Hopefully, Amit um, can actually rebuild the walls here. This is the weirdest hodgepodge of wooden tent I've ever seen before. Who knows what's going to happen when we deconstruct this. Okay, Amit um, has failed on this wall about nine times now. Uh... <laughs> okay. <sighs> Come on, Amit, um, we believe! Nice, he made a door. Awesome, we've got a house once again. Now, we did want to use medicine, but somehow it's all disappeared. Probably because Kiyosuke's been using it for his endless, endless, endless muscle parasites that never go away. It appears that we actually have zero, and we need 57 to get that legendary or masterwork longsword. So, see how much we can harvest, although Kiyosuke's the only one who can harvest them, and currently he's catatonic anyway. On the plus note, we didn't lose our bedroll, and apparently Amit, though he cannot craft a bedroll, he can indeed repair a bedroll, which makes perfect sense. <laughs> ah, Dwarven Goods Trader from Carrick's Clan is here. Oh, someone just saw a heart, boys. Amit wooed Cinnamon by impishly questioning her abilities. He remembers because Cinnamon wanted to go talk about imps before. She's like, let's get the treasures from the imp cave. I'm Cinnamon, and this is how dwarves females sound. And Amit's like, ah, Cinnamon likes imps, does she? I will pretend to be an imp while questioning her abilities. That will surely woo her. Can you guys imagine Indian Amit as a, pretending to be an imp, questioning Cinnamon's abilities? Like, how, how would that even sound? No idea. Maybe Bravo Wolf can come up with a smorgasbord of options. And you guys can vote in the comments down below. Cinnamon commented about cooking with cauliflowers to Amit. She really could not be more disinterested. Oh, hello. Woo. Sirs, I wonder where your trader is. Looks like they're further back over here. Oh, no, I actually can't. I can't see the trader. Wow, look at that axe. What is this thing? 10.65 damage. Steel, basic, dwarven, double-headed axe, and normal. Fancy. Usable with shields? No. Oh, I wish I knew who to trade with, but there doesn't seem to be anyone here. And as luck would have it, because we've been so busy doing nonsense, we've run completely out of food, and have started to eat our last three bread. In fact, we're not going to have any food to get to the next zone at this rate. However, I remember seeing those Zs over here, and wouldn't you know... There is our solution. 11 deer cinnamon have at it. And maybe at some point, Kiyosuke might wake up and actually cook this stuff. Amit's got nothing to do, uh, so let's go prospect into a new hill, I think. We'll try this one over here, and we'll come through like that. Angora rabbits have joined the colony. Ooh, what the? What the? <laughs> Now, we're never, because we can't grow, we're never going to have the food to feed these things unless they eat meat, which they don't. I guess we could feed them, like, jerked meats, but not meats because they count as meals. I'm thinking the easier thing to do with a bunch of, if you're a dwarf and you're hungry, one of your friends is unconscious and you're bored out of your mind, do you adopt a pack of f furry rabbits or do you eat them? 
I think we both know the answer to that. I just learned something. If you select mine and you're selecting a tile in the fog, and that's the only tile they can get to, they actually won't go down there to mine it until you explore the tile and see that it's stone. That's a little weird interaction with the Fog of War mod there. These things are just going to eat all of our food, so the clearer choice here. Apparently, there's ten of them? I would love more than nothing else. You know what? Maybe they can produce a ton of extra ra- Ooh, look at that! They're producing rabbits literally left and right. I wonder if we just lock them outside of the room. If they can produce a ton of additional rabbits for us and we can eat those. I'll have to make the zone a bit bigger here, but this might actually be a half-decent plan. And I would love, a long time ago, I wanted to make a campaign with like 40 squirrels that just chase down people and nip them until they just bled out. Uh, but the game lagged all to hell. That was like four betas ago. It may be possible now to just have something similar, but not have the game lag all to hell. I don't know, we'll see. Apparently, these little ferrets are gonna come down here repeatedly trying to murder my bunnies. Which actually gives us an opportunity to basically get free meat walking to our doorstep constantly. As long as Amit doesn't go on some kind of mental break. Oh yeah, you fight back, little bunny! You kill that ferret! Oh, poor bunny. It's bleeding. I wonder if someone's going to take care of it. Maybe, maybe Amit will. Who knows? Yep, look at that. He's actually going to take care of it. Amazing. All right, well, whatever ferrets are on this map will certainly find themselves a mass right in our front door in just a minute. Finally! Kiyosuke is back up. I say finally like it took a long time, but quite honestly, it only took uh, like two days. Maybe three. However, he still has muscle parasites. That has been there for a very, very long time. Ah. The raid is coming. Get prepared. We know very little about what's going on, but this time we actually have three people. This is getting scary. Now, I really want to leave this map as soon as possible. But my goals were, A, get Kiyosuke up first, and B, find just one more prospecting tunnel. Now, we didn't find one down here. Uh, I suppose we'll queue up a little bit more. It can't hurt to just go, like, right through the middle like this. And see what we find. Just one more thing of, of some kind of decent metal would fill up our backpacks. Right now, we would have to take steel with us, which is a complete waste. Anywho, let's see what this raid brings. Uh, one more thing I wanted to do was harvest all the heal root, which I believe Kiyosuke's now working on now that he's woken up. So if I might go outside. It's nighttime in the rain, so our vision is almost zero. We're going to have to wake Cinnamon up, unfortunately, and come over here. And if they come from the north, I suppose, we'll hear them through the tent walls, because apparently they're not very thick. No, oh, well, that was just Kiyosuke. He's scared. Oh, you know what? Speaking of, Kiyosuke actually never picked up his pickaxe. Let's make sure he's got that. Oh, I really don't want Kiyosuke lost outside when the raid comes, but at the same time... Subjects from Rito are beginning their assault. Okay. Let's come back over here. I'm not sure if I just inadvertently saw that they're coming from the west or not when I clicked on Kiyosuke there. Oh, yeah, that's where they're coming from. All right. What do they got? They've got... Ooh! A hammer! That's not a very good hammer, though, to be honest. But either way, let's have Amit come down here. Beautiful cinnamon right over there. Kiyosuke right over here. I suppose. Get every... Whoa, 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 Kiyosuke, come back! You slow poke with your muscle parasites! Okay, raids are getting a little bit bigger here. It's going to be... a. A bit tricksy. Once again, another female with no pants, it would seem. I just really love the no-panted females. <gasps> Ooh, hello. Who are you? You have some kind of steel light plate helmet. That could be interesting. I am less than inclined to allow Cinnamon to sit here getting hit. So I'm hoping Kiyosuke can take down Volks with the help of Cinnamon. Ah, beautiful. Perfect. Ama can sit here at least tanking for a little bit. His shield won't hold up. But I'm less than inclined to bring Kiyosuke in, to be honest. He's going to go down really quickly because of his armor threshold. And a raccoon has joined our fray. What is with these random animals? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Kiyosuke, charge Humphrey from behind. All right. Well, the pantsless female is down. No surprise. Let's make sure Cinnamon has a straight line of sight over there. 
Not shooting into Amit by mistake. Speaking of, Amit's got a couple of cracks. Not a big deal, but more importantly, shields at almost half. Kiyosuke's getting hit with a hammer? Right leg is br That was a... Okay, if Kiyosuke's leg gets hit again, he will actually lose that leg. Kiyosuke, run! Please don't get hit in that leg again. Ooh, it's not safe to bring him into melee. Amit's shield is below half. I can't really risk bringing Kiyosuke in. He's a one-shot against... Whew, fantastic. I'm saying his, his leg is a one-shot against the hammer. Beautiful work, Cinnamon. Now, this guy's a little bit occupied. I doubt he'll go after Kiyosuke. Let's bring Cinnamon down here just for a more clear line of sight, not shooting over Amit. And beautiful. Awesome! What is the result of this? Kiyosuke's... Whoops, that's the wrong character. Kiyosuke has a wounded leg. Amit's got a couple of cracks, but his shield is down to very low. And Elbert the Knight. He was actually a knight. Now has tainted steel light plate helmet. We could loot it if we wanted to and give it to someone, but I'm not sure if we really want to. Humphrey the Minstrel over here has literally nothing for us. So essentially all we got out of that was, if we want them, a bunch of scrubby slate hammers that barely do anything and aren't worth anything so yep well whatever the raid is kaput and gora buck one became the target of ferret bob ferret bob we're gonna murder you just as soon as you get over here these ferrets are so... Yeah, here comes... Amit's um, just going to go on a ferret murder extermination spree. Which is decent because we need to hunt some more critters as well. Oh, look at them. They all seem to love Amit. Maybe it's because literally it looks like he's got a freaking bunny on his face. Just like an old gray one. All right. Here we go, Amit. Go kill ferret Bob. Get him out. Get him out, Amit. Come... Amit, for God's sakes... These ferrets are vicious! Okay, there's another one out here someplace. There he is. Ferret Hob this time. Hob and Bob. Listen to that sad sound. Good job, Amit. No, wait, it's turning around. It can't decide what to do. And amazingly, the bunny bit back. Bunny bit back. Hmm. The BBB and the DDD, as they say. This is just going to be never-ending. There's another one coming now. Oh, God. This one. No! What are the bunnies? What happened? Did it stand up? I think that's Hob. I think Hob stood up. And the ferret just knocked, or the bunny just knocked it out. This one's dead in four hours, unless Amit um, tends to it, like, immediately. Let's tend- oh, Kiyosuke's already tending to it. Let's go finish off this one. Don't have to mess with it anymore. Come on, Kiyosuke, we believe! Why is it tending to it? Oh. <clears throat> because we have all of our animals set to good medications. Basically set the default on nothing for anyone. Amazing. And Angorado is pregnant, boys. It begins. Aw, Kiyosuke has named Angora Buck for Dreamweaver after being nuzzled. Oh, what a good name, Kiyosuke. Dreamweaver the Angora Buck, I, I guess. Angora Doe is pregnant. Yeah, this it's just going to be insane how many of these things we're going to have very soon. Oh, what is this? Bison? They look so cool. Their gradient is just amazing. All right, well, the plan here is while I still see them, we'll hunt up those guys. We only got two. Oh, God, click. You got to click it before they disappear, or even if you had them selected, you no longer get the ability to click it. Good job, Kiyosuke, scouting that out. That'll give us all the meat we need for uh, probably the rest of the summer and maybe the fall, especially in comb combination with cinnamon hunting all the deer out there. Meanwhile, let's go see what Amit's up to. Diggy dig. I added up another one down here, so we've got that one over here and this one down here. Looks like we hit another steel vein, but that's not that interesting. Another? What the? How many? What is this, like six raids in the first month of the game? 
It says the raid is coming, get prepared. Does that mean it's coming instantly or it's waiting for, I have no idea. Everyone so far has been like making me wait forever. Watch me, oh no, the black bear boys. All right, let's come outside because our little bunnies are gonna get a target at night now. There he is, we see the, the black bear. Maybe we can enrage it and actually use it against the raid. No! It, oh, that's who you went after. Oh, look, it runs away like a little scaredo. Of course it does. Doesn't actually want to fight us. Yeah, apparently black bears are just like cowards. No one's going to eat our dough except us. Wow, and now we have a black bear as well on top of everything else. Fantastic. And now we need to defend from an unknown number of raiders, but that is going to have to wait until the next episode tomorrow. Thank you guys very much for watching, and if you're not already subscribed, please consider hitting that button as well as a like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. Anywho, until tomorrow. Kiyosuke gets out of bed that he's not going to be able to come home to because he's the only person who can construct walls and you're breaking all the walls. Oh my golly gee, Willow Cutter's Batman.